Hello everyone, I'm Sanji. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time stopping by, thank you so much. I appreciate your checking me out. If you have been hanging with me for a while, thank you, thank you. I appreciate your support. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button and the bell so you know when I upload new content. Again, thank you so much. For those of you that are wondering where the part twos are, the part twos are found at my website on www.sanji.com. So that's for those of you that want to know the in-depth extra things that I tell you about your relationships when dealing with the various sun signs. On part two, we discuss how you are in finance, how you are in uh, difficult situations, and um, how you are in the bedroom. So <laughs> if that's what you're into and you wanna hear about that, and I also give you some wonderful solutions, helpful hints on how to maintain those relationships and also some ways that if you're having difficulties, some things you can try to uh, lessen it and get along, make things a lot smoother. So, now that the business is out of the way, let's get right into Capricorn. Hello Capricorns, how are you? If you're a Capricorn, that means your birthday is December 22nd through and including January 19th. So, hey Capricorn, what's good with you? Let's talk about Capricorns because you guys are very misunderstood in the Zodiac, okay? Let's talk about it. Capricorns, you have a strong sense of self. So typically you don't understand why people don't understand a Capricorn because you guys are pretty clear on who you are. However, because you're also known to be that sun sign that doesn't really express their emotions, people kind of make assumptions about it. And because you really don't care, you just let them walk with it. <laughs> So let me help you out for those of you that have a Capricorn in your life. Capricorns keep their walls up and you have to be very patient with them. They are not letting you in until they feel that you should be in. So pull up a chair, grab a book. Capricorn is not letting you in and not taking their walls down until they are good and ready. All right? They are practical people, they can be dominating, and very stubborn, hence stubborn as a goat, that's them. So um, they, they are logical people, they're analytical, they're in their heads, they are thinkers. And sometimes because they're not really thinking about how you're going to feel because they're in their head thinking, they come across as insulting. Capricorns are also accused of being slow-moving people, but it's not that they're not quick with it. It's just that Capricorns want to think it through because they like sure things. Speaking of which, what does a Capricorn like? Well, typically, they are traditional people. They are very much into family. They are understated regarding their status, but they're typically very accomplished. They're very committed to their goals. They like quality, craftsmanship, and typically your Capricorn is a music lover of some sort. What are their weaknesses? Well, they come across as know-it-alls. They can be quite unforgiving if you do something that a Capricorn finds just over the limit, they can be quite stuck on unforgiving you for a very, very long time. They can be condescending and pessimist. Now the thing when I looked about, looked into, okay, what were Capricorn dislikes? This is what came up. Almost everything at some point. I didn't say a Capricorn, that's what they said. They said a Capricorn is going to dislike everything at some point. So just, that's when they're in their pessimistic phase. You just gotta ride the wave and wait for them to get through it, okay? 
I didn't say it, Capricorn. That's what they said. Is that true, Capricorn? All right, we're going to keep going. Now, we talked about them being strong-willed, stubborn, and they're also known to shut down and stop communicating with you. A Capricorn also can be known to disappear on you. Now, this typically happens with a Capricorn if there is, the money is involved. Capricorns are very into their financial situations. So, if your Capricorn has money issues or they feel as though their money is funny, you can set your watch to the fact that that Capricorn is going to withdraw, isolate, and figure out how they can get their money back to where they are comfortable, all right? Because sometimes they carry the world's problems on their shoulders and they disappear to solve them on their own. That's something typically you will find in a Capricorn. You know, they're the un they are the misunderstood warrior of the Zodiac. So sometimes they are thinking about things that perhaps their partners or the people in their lives haven't even thought of, but the Capricorn has because they show their love through providing and through acts. So if they don't have the finances to carry out the things that they think that they should be doing, it bothers the Capricorn. They are hardworking quite complex people. So as I said, you have to be patient in getting to know them and you have to give them the space that they need when they are isolating, trying to figure things out, especially that money. You want them to come back around, give them some of your money. <laughs> Sorry, Capricorn. All right. But however, once a Capricorn lets you in and takes their barriers down, they are very loyal, very committed, and very loving. You know, you just have to get there with them. So those are the basics about Capricorn. Remember, those are general things. Uh, of course, everyone's unique, everyone's different, um, but that's a basic guideline. Now we're going to get into what is it like with your sun sign when they are dealing with our wonderfully stubborn and loyal and committed Capricorn. Well, let's talk about it right after this. Hello, Capricorn with Aries. Welcome to your matchup. Now, right off the bat, this won't be an initially easy relationship as your goals and styles are likely to be very different from each other. Capricorn values structure, stability, and security. And in all things, Aries is highly impulsive and outgoing, while Capricorn is highly cautious and reserved. So those two are quite different from each other. Now, while you'll each admire the other's style because it is quite different than yours, you will definitely need to compromise a lot to meet in the middle. Now, you both can become workaholics fairly easily, but again, how you go about it being a workaholic is quite different. Now, Aries can easily become engrossed in an exciting new project that they have, but the difference is that Capricorn will become engrossed and so engrossed that they are dogmatic about sticking to it and almost wanting to meet the deadline within that day, whereas that's really not practical. We all understand that. And Aries will give it the time when it's time to give it to it, and they will easily walk away from that problem project with no problem. Aries knows how to shut it down, while well, Capricorn will continue to work through the project. They, Capricorn, values the security that work brings them, and they often carry their work with them, as Capricorns are known 
to even when they're not working to discuss work. Aries, you're going to have to help Capricorn unwind and cut it off and talk about other things outside of work to get them to wind down and relax. Not the easiest of tasks to do, but fear not. I have some help for you to help get that done. Now, you both can be very ambitious and this can cause some friction between of you because obviously, if careers are both important to the both of you, you are going to put the time in in pursuing your goals uh, pretty earnestly, both of you, but as always, in quite different styles. Now, it's very common for Aries to be self-employed or to have goals of being self-employed, whereas Capricorns, they have no problem being a part of a team and uh, working within the system. Again, structure and those kind of things don't bother or trouble the Capricorn, whereas Aries are kind of known to buck the system when they feel the need to do so. Aries enjoys being impulsive, reckless, and living for the moment, and expects to be in control of the relationship. Now, this is likely to make Capricorn quite resistant <laughs> as Aries is often anything but conservative. So where uh, Capricorn likes, uh, is very concerned about their image and, and playing by the rules and doing things in the proper format, uh, Aries, not so much. Aries just wants to get it done and get it done by any means necessary. Aries, they prefer to have a great idea and act on it impulsively and obsessively. And then they will discard it if need be later for an even better idea or, you know, whatever their next fancy is. Remember, the Aries is uh, known for going headfirst into things and thinking about the consequences later. And that is just a foreign concept <laughs> to Capricorn. Capricorn likes to plan and think it through. So this charge right in, let's go, let's go thing is definitely an alien type thinking for our Capricorn. But one area you are likely to be in agreement on is the need for a reasonable level of independence in the relationship. Neither of you typically like to be controlled or told what to do. That just doesn't happen. Capricorn's not gonna like it. Aries isn't gonna like it. So, you know, of course, if you don't wanna be told what to do, then don't tell the other person what to do. Stop being bossy. Uh, be respectful of the other person's decision to be and do what they choose to be and do. Now, in the area of physical romance, you both prefer playful over heavy or emotional intense sex, okay? Um, so the potential is that there is fun and a healthy balance for you in the bedroom, see? So not, it's not all love and war, <laughs> mostly war. It isn't. Um, there's definitely a healthy balance, but on whose terms and how, because again, Aries likes to be impulsive and in control and the boss, and Capricorn is not going to play along that well until they trust you. So we will discuss this and how to get trust going and how to have a balance between such uh, strong-willed signs uh, moving forward. We will talk about that in part two. We'll talk about how to make a Capricorn with Aries relationship 
a lot more harmonious and less disgruntled as the two of you learn how to respect each other's differences and make those differences work for each one of you. So we'll talk about that. We'll talk about the money issue, which is likely to be one and very difficult to compromise on. But we got it. We got it. Join me on part two at www.sanji.com. We'll talk about the complex relationship between Capricorn and Aries and the whole sex thing and how to get through fights and so many other tips and treasures going on in part two. See you there. And if you are a Capricorn in an Aries relationship with each other or you have been in the past, Leave us a comment down below. Let us know how it worked out between you two. Very strong-willed signs. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on part two. And as always, if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button. I appreciate you so much for watching. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.